How's it going everybody? It's Aparicio and today I'm just going to be showing you how to correctly apply LUTs in DaVinci Resolve and we're going to be using the film emulation LUTs that DaVinci provides. So with that being said, let's just get right into it. Okay, so as you can see, we have a shot. Let's go ahead and add your first node, all right? And we're just going to convert this to uh, Rec. 709. Put in a color space transform and I'm going to go ahead and convert this RE footage to Rec. 709. So I'm just putting my RE input color space and RE input gamma here. And I'm just gonna leave these uh, output color space and output gamma to use timeline. Let me show you my project settings under color management. Here they are. And then we're gonna add a node. Go ahead and add another color space transform. I'm gonna leave everything to use timeline. And then I'm gonna change this output gamma to Cineon Film Log. You need to change this output gamma to Cineon Film Log so your footage doesn't break when you apply the LUT, all right? But let me show you what it looks like when we kind of apply it incorrectly. We're not using our Cineon Film Log output gamma and we're just applying the LUT right after we convert our footage to Rec. 709. And you can see it's, uh, it's just too much, too much is happening. So let's go back to our other clip, all right, and finish this off. So now we're gonna create another node we're gonna add our LUT to this node here. So let's go to LUTs. Um, I have thumbnail view on, and I also have live preview on. So now we're gonna pick which LUT we want. And I'm just looking at these, these Kodak uh, 2383 LUTs. So we have a D55, a D60, and a D65, with D55 being the warmest, and then D65 being the coolest. So I'm going to add my Rec. 709 Kodak 2383 D55. And there we go. We put it on. And now let's compare if you put it incorrectly and then if you put it correctly. You can see the difference. We can see the difference. Everybody can see the difference. Okay. This just gives you a lot more work to... This just gives you a lot more room to work with, right? So I'm going to label that LUT. And if you go to your LUTs and you right click on one of them and you go to open file location and then go ahead and open this uh, LUT file and you can see the input is Cineon log. All right, so that's why we put Cineon film log as our output gamma. Okay, so let's say you think the LUT is too harsh. You go to key and you turn down the key output like that. This is the wrong way to kind of suppress your LUT because it's just bringing us back to this Cineon film log, a flat profile, right? So instead of doing that, you're just gonna grab the Cineon film log um, color space transform node and the LUT node. You're gonna highlight them both and you're gonna uh, create a compound node. And then with this compound node, you now are gonna go to key and now you can put down the key output. So now if you go to turn this down, it's just gonna be bringing us closer and back to our baseline Rec. 709 instead of that Cineon film log. So create that compound node and that is how you correctly dial it down. And then you will go ahead and do all your corrections and adjustments beforehand. So you will, so you will go and you'll adjust your, you know, exposure, your contrast. And then you can go ahead and check out what each of these LUTs is doing. I put each of the LUTs on a grayscale. Um, you can do the same thing by just dragging in a grayscale and creating a compound clip out of it. And then you're going to go into the color page and just apply the LUT to the grayscale, okay? So let's go ahead and look here. This is our D55. You can see it's affecting the highlights a lot, warming up the highlights a lot. The lower midtones, upper shadows, you know, it's creating this uh, cool tint. And then we have the clean blacks, okay? But yeah, that is how you properly apply a LUT in DaVinci Resolve. I hope you found this video helpful. Thank you for watching. Smash the subscribe button for weekly DaVinci Resolve videos. With that being said, I'll see you in the next one.